Rocket and spacecraft manufacturer SpaceX is expected to send more Starlink satellites into orbit this week. Newswatch 16's John Hickey is here to show us how we can see the new string of lights in the night sky in this week's Skywatch 16. So this Skywatch 16 is definitely dedicated to those of our friends who are on the assignment desk trying to uh, maybe quell some of those UFO calls that come in every time we get one of these launches. Yes, it's true. SpaceX launching not one but two rounds of Starlink satellites into orbit. One actually went off very early this morning, which would make its best chance to be viewed tonight. Unfortunately, with clouds and rain, probably no shot. But we do have another launch of SpaceX satellites, another 60 going up for Thursday night, which would put the best chance of viewing the following night, which would likely be on Friday. So what are you looking for? It kind of looks like a string of lights, all these dots, all moving in the same direction in the night sky. We were fortunate enough to be able to view that actually right from out in our helipad just a few weeks ago. And this is what we were seeing. It looks again like all like these all little dots, the string of lights, all generally moving in the same direction. So the best chance to be seeing this would be coming up on Friday. It looks brilliantly clear as we get a little bit closer to it. And once the launch, of course, would be successful, that's when we get the better timeline of when we can tell you to look into the night sky to be able to see it. It's cool stuff if you've never seen it before. Now, something that's more easily spotted and many of us have seen, but if you haven't yet, another couple of great chances to see it, the International Space Station flyover. It's that solid singular dot moving across the sky. Chance to see that tomorrow night, Wednesday night, 857. We're we'll moving from the uh, southwestern sky over to the northeast. And another great chance to see it coming up the following night on Thursday. Starts at 809, that time lasting for six minutes. We very high up off the horizon too, both nights. So good chances for viewing. Starts in the southwest and moves over towards the east northeast sky. And does look clear this weekend too. So it's worth mentioning that if you look low on the horizon, Saturday night, you'll see see a very slim crescent moon and it will be right next to a little dot and the little dot off to the right would be the planet Mars. So all sorts of dots to look for and well we'll hope uh, we get to see Starlink coming up probably Friday night Scott. It's always cool to see.